Hello YouTube and welcome to Case Technologies. In today's video, we're going to talk about Python's arg parse and how to create a command line tool to utilize in your everyday applications or everyday administration if you're a systems administrator, systems engineer, or even if you're a developer. So let's go ahead and begin. Right now you can see that I'm actually on the python.org website under the documentation section for arc parse. And this is what you want to follow if you're doing any programming language. You want to always read the docs, read the the information and what you're trying to use. And this is a way for you to get a good example of how to set up and create the, the program. So just go ahead and follow along. You don't have to worry about this right now. I'll take care of the, the heavy lifting and all the nice little tools for you. All right. And in my development environment today, I'm going to be using PyCharm. So you can go ahead and use anything you like to use, Visual Studio, Atom, or what have you. I'm going to drop all this view. It's not good for my computer right now. So let's go. Add a new file, make it a Python file. So we're going to say um, CMD utility. And PyCharm is already going to add the .py to the end for me. But you might have to, depending on what type of application you're using, if it's Visual Studio or Atom to um, any type of IDE you're using, you're going to have to add the .py to the end of it in some cases. All right, so let's go ahead and begin right here. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and import our parse. Our right, parse is built in, so you shouldn't have any problems utilizing it. And then we're going to set up uh, the parser itself so that it can pick up the commands that we're looking for. So we're going to say parse equals arg parse argument parser. And if you want to have some way of knowing what the program is about or listing that when you go ahead and hit the help menu this is where it will be done you can put in description and then you want to describe what it is um, we're going to say command line uh, shortcuts or let's do CLI CLI shortcuts Add argument. So this is what we want to do when you want to add another argument uh, or a command line option or a switch, whatever you're used to referring to it as. And this is where it will be done. And you can do two forms. You can do the short form is what I call it, and then the long form. So right here, I'm going to put the short, uh, the short form, and I'm just going to say L dash L. And I'll say here it's going to be list. And then we want to put a helper to say what this is actually going to do. And we're just going to say list contents. The contents of the directory. All right. All right. So then that's that. 
We also want to make a destination. So where we want to store this as a name, a placeholder name. So we want to do destination equals. And we want to come up with that name. I want to call it list value. All right. All right. And that's the only one we're going to have right now. Get args equals parse dot parse args. And we want to go ahead and print. Print get args. There we go. And go ahead and control S and save that. And we're just gonna go ahead and run it. So I need to all right, good. So we want to just go ahead and run a dot H on it. So when you run it, you can preference it with Python, Python 3. I'm just trying to use Python 3. So I don't know, I don't have anything set up right yet, right now, but you can do Python, Python 3. And then right now we just want to use the dash H, which is already built in with arc parse. And that is your help feature, your help functionality. So when you run your command, you want to come Python or Python 3. I named it command utility, and then you want to just do dash H because we're not going to actually use the list function right now. And then this is where you get your your uh, usage, your command, your the name of your program, and it already shows that H is already built in. If you can tell from the code, we didn't write that in. And then dash L, and then the um, list values where it'd be stored. And then down here in the optional arguments, it shows the detail view and description. So dash L will be stored as list value or dash dash list will be stored as list value. And then the the um, the help feature or the description is list the contents of a directory. So we have all of that in there right now. So let's go ahead um, and set up how we can actually read and utilize the list, list functionality. All right, now we have to add in a way to actually grab the information from the, the command line once it's entered with this script. So now we're gonna add that functionality in. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna say if get args dot list value, So if the list value has, for lack of a better term, a value or something associated with it, then we're going to go ahead and grab it. And we're going to move to the next blocks, and we're going to actually do something. All right. And I'm going to come up here. We're just going to do OS real quick. I'm going to do OS.listdir. And we're going to actually put in the list value. So, we're gonna, so in this area, we're going to say if get args dot list view exists. And increase the size here. Presentation mode. All right. So, we're going to import arg parse, import OS. We have our parse. 
information. Then we're going to say if get args that list value, which we define up here for the destination of the dash L or dash dash list command. And then we're going to list the directory that is given. And we're going to print it right here. We're going to print. Oh, actually we're actually going to print the contents. presentation mode and we'll run to the terminal clear everything out we're gonna go ahead and make sure that everything works like it was working for first dash H yep we still get our list value our help and our optional arguments and we see that this is the CLI shortcuts we're gonna do clear again I'm just going to come in here and write that three and let's say dash L and I want to list a directory that I know isn't too crazy. And there we go. So it did exactly what we wanted it to do. We ran a command line utility and we got everything that was in the temp directory. And I can come back and actually run that command, uh, run the actual list command and see if I get the same exact output. So let's go ahead, ls, my temp directory. And as you can see, we have the same stuff. Right here, Grillo, Grillo's. Everything's in a different order though. But we have Grillo plugins. Have Adam crashes. We have VS Code. So let's see if we can find VS Code down here. VS Code TypeScript. So there you go. That's how you would make a command line utility. You can also come back and get fancier with it. You can put more commands in, but that's how you would get the information out of your command line argument and you would just continue to do the same thing if you wanted to add more let's go ahead and add a few more of these I'll come down let's get into presentation mode so you guys can see this all right so i'm gonna add a few more lines i'm gonna give them different values and different destinations so i'm gonna go a b C and D. We're just gonna call this access backup copy delete. All right, and we're gonna say they all have to go to a different value. So we're just gonna say, oh, this is the one we want to keep. We're gonna say the destination. Access so say backup copy delete. All right, and then we have the, the statements here. Say create a backup. And here we're gonna say copy information or copy data. 
since that's a nice buzzword in the tech community right now. And then we're gonna say delete everything. All right. And we're just gonna control S it. I'm gonna come out of here. Exit presentation mode. All right, we're just gonna hit clear. We're gonna bring this up. All right. So clear again. All right. I'm gonna run it just like we would before, but we're just gonna do a dash H because we haven't really wired up the rest of those command line arguments. But if you would like to see me do a full wire up of a full functioning command line tool that really does stuff like access AWS or anything like that, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll go ahead and do that. Or just message me if it's something you wanna see me do. And if it's inside of my wheelhouse, I'll go ahead and do it. All right, there you go. So these are all our command line arguments right here. And you have a command line utility that you can use if you want to go to work and be a rock star, be a, uh, be that guy or that woman. This is a great way to do it. Create things that allow your team to automate things on a daily basis where you, you make a lot of command line arguments or command line tools that help get the day-to-day -to -day job done faster. And it'll be easier for everyone, even the new people coming in. All right, so right here we can see we have access. So it says our little description, grant access, dash B or dash backup, dash C or copy or dash dash copy for copy data. And then you have delete and delete everything, right? Again, like I said, that's it for this video. Comment, like, subscribe. And until the next video, peace.